Hi guys, it's Jared here from Rogue Archery. And today, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to create a training environment in your own home. Now, the reason why this is so important is because the biggest barrier for any archer is time management. Now, unless you're a full-time sponsored athlete or you're fully funded by your parents or some other generous sponsor, you're probably either working or studying whilst you're pursuing your archery career and your archery goals. So this means that if you're like me and every other archer, you're time poor. And so it's very, very important to create an environment within your lifestyle that supports your training goals. So what we're gonna to do today is we're just gonna take a bit of a peek around my training environment. I'm gonna show you how I've set it up with very, very basic equipment. And we're gonna talk about some of the things that you can do as well to create a very effective training environment in your own home. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is just give you a bit of a, a look around my training environment. So what I've created here is a bit of a training den. This is underneath my house in my rumpus room, which I've converted into, yeah, this little training den. So let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing you notice is you probably don't need a huge space. This is plenty big enough. In fact, um, whilst I've got a lot of space in here, um, you probably only need a room half this size uh, and something that's you know, either half a garage or a shed or a spare room would work as well. Um, but I think most people can create space within their own home that would suit the purpose of a training den. So the first thing you'll notice in here is I've got some rings. This is where I do my, uh, my daily chin up routine. Okay, very important for artery strength and artery shoulder mobility and health. Okay, then we get over to where the crux of the training is done. Okay, and you'll notice in this little corner over here, this is where I do all of my SPT. Okay, I'm a, I am a firm believer in SPT as a fundamental part of your archery training program. It's how you build up bow conditioning and reinforce your technique and your shot structure in particular. And so I think it's very, very important that you have an area dedicated for SPT. So I have over here, I have a couple of mirrors set up. So what this does is when I'm doing my SPT, this is where I'm actually checking my alignment, checking my posture, checking my position uh, while I'm training. And I also have a secondary mirror over here, which at a glance, I can check my own uh, posture from a different angle. And I can also check my anchor from the way that I've got this set up like that. You can also see that I've got a timer set up and this is uh, an app called Seconds Pro that I use, which is just a circuit trainer timer, but I customize it for different SPT programs. And so I have different uh, training routines for SPT that I use, use here as well. Over here, I have a whiteboard, uh, not too complicated. I use this for everything. So I use it for brainstorming. I use it for writing out training routines. I use it for um, when I'm in a particularly creative mood. Sometimes ideas come to me while I'm training, but it's basically a way for me to scribble down what I'm working on or what's coming into my mind at that point in time. So very, very useful. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this, but on the mirror here, front and center, actually, I'm pretty sure you can't see that, but I've scribbled all over here, uh, drawing, what I'm working on for the week. So this is my technique focus and that is a picture of what looks like textbook alignment. And I've also written on the mirror here, my shot process. So again, I'm not sure if you can actually see that or not, but I've written down my shot process. So both uh, consciously and subconsciously, that is front and center. While I'm looking at myself in the mirror, it's just a way of me reinforcing what my shot process is, what I'm actually meant to be working on. Now down here, you will see I have a couple of dumbbells. I have some balance discs. Okay. I have my trusty TheraBand. Don't go anywhere without this. This is very important for warm up and warm down. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I'm a nut for shoulder mobility with dislocates. And so appropriately, I have my broomstick stashed behind here. And then we go over to our inspiration wall. And this is where I have uh, some of my achievements, medals, trophies, awards, things like this from my archery career. And personally, I find this very motivating because uh, while I'm training, it helps me reflect on some of my achievements, but also uh, I have some unfinished business. And so this is a reminder that I wanna make this wall a little bit thicker and also add some more rows. So we'll see what I can do. Okay, I have a couple of bows set up. 
I'm lucky enough to have a massage table that I use for recovery. Okay, my wife sometimes gives me a bit of a rub down. But um, I also have here, very important, my training program. And you'll notice this is front and center in this middle of my training environment. I'm a big advocate for recording your weekly and daily training routine and so that you can keep track of this uh, over the long term, over the short and long term. So what I have here in my training program is I write down um, each week, I write down my goal for the week and my major goal. I also write down what I complete every day. So here I've written down the arrows that I've shot, I've written down the SPT that I've done, the strength and conditioning and the fitness training that I've done as well. I write down how I feel every day, uh, just a perception, of, a subjective perception of how my shooting is going. And I also sit down at the end of every week and I reflect on my training. And I, I uh, write down what I did well, what I need to improve from this week, and also I carry forward what I need to work on for next week. So that's very important. All right, now let's whip out the back of the house and I'm gonna show you where I shoot. Okay, so we've just jumped out the back of my house. It's night time, it's after work, as you can see. And um, this is where I've set up a little training area where I can shoot. Now you notice I've set it up with a light on the target down there so that uh, it doesn't matter whether it's night, dark, four in the morning, whatever, I have a space where I can shoot safely. So this is very important as well. You'll notice that my training area is actually only very close. So my view is that when you're training through the week, um, you don't need to be shooting a long distance. So it's just like if you're a boxer and you were training at home, you wouldn't be fighting someone every week. Just like that, you don't need to be shooting 70 meters for every single training session. It's okay to shoot blank butt through the week and then uh, if you can make it out to the range a few times during the week to shoot your long range, that's, that's sufficient. So here I'm only shooting probably about uh, five or six meters. You don't even need to shoot that far. I've shot before just inside a garage with a target only two or three meters away. And um, it's just a very, very important drill to work through your shot routine, reinforce your technique, and build up the arrow volume. Okay, so as you can see, with not much more than a couple of mirrors and about five meters spare space in my backyard, I've created a pretty effective training environment where I can do the bulk of my training at home. This is very important for me. I still work full time. I coach, I train, I'm married, I have a job. Um, you know, I try and have the remnants of a social life and um, I consider myself very time poor. But this allows me to sort of come home from work, uh, have a bite to eat, and all I have to do to train is literally pick up a bow and pull it back. There's no barriers for me training anymore because I've created this space. Now, I'm gonna give you a book recommendation if you're serious about this. Um, there's a great book called Willpower Doesn't Work, okay? Now this book discusses in detail uh, why if you rely on your own willpower, you're destined to fail. And so the core principle of the book is that willpower is a depleting resource. And once you, you've used it up, you're always gonna give in to your, your sort of simplistic human desires. And so what you need to do is to create an environment where you have as little barriers as possible to achieve your goals. For example, if your goal is to lose weight and you have ice cream in the fridge, and every time you look at that ice cream, you have to use your own willpower to resist, you're destined to fail. If, you're, if your strategy relies on your own willpower, you're gonna fail. And just like that, if your strategy for your archery results relies on your willpower to get out of bed, pack your gear into the car, drive to the range, set up your equipment, warm up, shoot, pack up, warm down, drive home, unpack, there's too many barriers there where life's gonna get in the way and it's just gonna interrupt your training from my experience. So having a training environment at home doesn't mean you can't or you shouldn't uh, go to the range and do those training environments, but it just means that um, you're not, you should never skip a training session. So um, even if you don't have time, you can make time if it's in your own house. It takes me two seconds to pick up a bow, string it by hand, and then start doing SPT. So I make a point of every single morning before work when I do my SPT, it's just like brushing my teeth. You don't leave the house without doing it. It's just a fundamental part of my routine and uh, if you approach your training in this way, I guarantee you uh, what you do consistency, consistently will define your results. It's not what you do once a week, twice a week, it's what you do every single day. 
So having an, an ability to train at home, pick up a bow, do your SBT, shoot in the backyard, do get your get your arrow volume up, work on those things that you you uh, you go to your coach. Uh, your coach might give you something to work on, you can bring that home and you should be working on that through the week. Because if you're just relying on the one or two times you see your coach each week, that's not enough. You need to go away and perfect what your coach is giving you. And then next time you go back and see your coach, you can build on that together. But you need to have that time, that volume of training at home by yourself and just that focused practice. So I'm a huge advocate for having an effective training environment set up in your own home. In fact, I think it's a must. So I hope this has given you some ideas. So I'd love to hear about uh, some ideas on how you set up, you would set up a training environment in your own home. What equipment do you have? You know, how much space do you have? How do you get around some challenges? You know, do you live in an apartment building? I've known archers who live in an apartment, have no backyard, but just shoot through their living room. Um, only a very short distance as well. Uh, I've known archers who um, have quite a lot of space at home and are able to do a lot more, you know, set up a gym in the back shed, shoot 70 meters in their backyard. It's very luxurious. Most people don't have that luxury. The other thing I want to touch on is safety. So safety is always the most important thing with archery and I hope it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway that you need to put some thought into making your training area safe. Now for SPT, it's pretty low risk, but when you're shooting in the backyard, you always need to consider the, the surroundings, you need to consider your neighbors, you need to consider the backdrop and make sure that you have a su sufficiently safe uh, backdrop that if you do have a misfire or something goes wrong, you're not gonna uh, kill the neighbor's cat and get in a lot of trouble uh, or even worse. So um, I just wanna say that again, Use, your own, use common sense as always. We're target archers, we're responsible people, um, but always keep safety front of mind. With that being said, I wanna wish you all luck. Look forward to your comments below in terms of what, how you set up your training environment, and I look forward to seeing you on the range.